Today's energy is inviting us to take some bold moves. We have the one energy day, the seven energy month, and the four of diamonds contract calling us to summon all of our energy back to us and our personal power back to us so that we can make some really bold moves. This is a very solar plexus focused day, very purpose focused day. And um, we're being asked to to take an action, to take a risk today, and really um, taking a calculated risk. You know, this is like the first thing I heard when I woke up this morning was pay attention to the details. So we do want to plan first before we make our move, but whatever you were letting go of yesterday um, with that energy, with that nine and the five coming in, what around how you think around money around mostly your how your thinking your belief systems around money and moving through fears around that um, could be fears around your physical health um, could be uh, you know things around your home around your business around your purpose um, all of these things in our physical world right now are really spotlighted this week as I've been talking about since Monday and. And the new moon is happening tomorrow afternoon. We have, you know, we're already feeling the energy build up to that. We're receiving a lot of ideas and new information today, just flooding in. And today is really kissed by Jupiter energy, which is blessings and activations. So really whatever you decide to action today, whatever bold risk taking move you decide to make today, with your finances, with your health, whatever it is, um, you are going to be rewarded. And this is going to carry you into, it's creating a foundation for your 2022 and really reaping the rewards of all of that next summer. And, um, and feeling like the courage and the, um, the strength to move forward today to really know that even though we know something's going to create a shakeup probably tomorrow with that new moon you know some surprise coming in with that uranus influence you can still take a, 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 a move today you can take a calculated risk for instance for me I have decided that um, despite the appearance of my financial situation at the moment, I am going to invest in myself and I am buying a ticket for a plane ticket for a retreat that starts tomorrow. And, you know, taking that calculated risk, knowing that if I invest in myself in this retreat and um, I've been feeling pulled to it for months and I just couldn't figure out how to make it happen and I've you know started to see like okay I just need to take the risk you know and go ahead and, and trust that I have the power within me to create whatever I need whenever I need it and and beyond right and so you know really taking that move and trusting that um, that this is the right move for me right now and although it's a calculated risk it is a risk but i feel like um today's energy is really supporting this decision and if i want to create massive change in my life which i do i want to create massive change in my finances i want to create massive change in my physical health i want to create massive change in my home i'm i want to move and I want to create massive change in my business. And so in order to do that, I have to take a calculated risk to move out of my comfort zone. And that's what the energy today is calling us to do and giving us massive support to do that. We are being so supportive. You can't make a mistake today. You can never make a mistake. There really aren't such things as mistakes. However, um, there is, you know, a bit of a, a a risk that comes and that fear that you have to navigate in order to move through that, in order to move out of your comfort zone. It's always going to feel um, unsteady when you are moving out of that comfort zone into what's next, what's new, and and you have to be willing to jump. You have to be willing to take a risk. And so that's what the energy is calling us to do today. And 
we are being supported to do that and we do have the strength that's the reminder that came through today is that we really do have that strength within us to to take that risk we just need to summon it and um, really pull all our energy back into us today so anywhere that you've been leaking energy um, we were being shown that yesterday but if you're still um, navigating that today you want to look at where am I leaking energy and pull that energy back to you where are you giving your power away so that you can stop doing that and pull that self-empowerment back to yourself you don't need anything from anybody outside of you to provide you with your money your money comes from you. Your health comes from you. You don't need anything from outside of you to be healthy. You don't need other people to do certain things for you to be healthy. You don't need other people to do certain things for you to make money or receive money. This is about being in the flow and trusting the flow. That one energy is really about the flow. It's about um, all the, you, you're going to be receiving so many new ideas today about um, you know have solutions to what you felt were problems before and all of this is going to be flooding in today it probably has already started for you like I said as soon as I woke up I was starting to get information and ideas coming in and so there's a lot of that today and really tune into that pay attention to the messages you're receiving the ideas you're getting all of these things are super valuable and um, take time today to plan to set intentions and really decide to take a big move today at toward what you want um, even in the planning of it uh, that is a big move and setting those intentions is a big move but really there seems to be a feeling of no you need to actually take a further action on it today as well even if it's just laying a a foundation for commitment to it in some way you know I think about um, like the visual that's coming to me is when a, a new building is being built and laying that foundation is like that feels um, so solid but it feels like a commitment right you're you're committing to the structure of that building you're committing to the stability of that building when you lay that foundation and that's what we're being asked to do today is take that first step to laying the foundation to your new life your new money story your new health story your new story about your home and and how you choose to live your new story about your business and your purpose and how you show up in the world and so um then trust trust that you're really being supported in this because you are you know there's there's also the the low side of this energy today could have you feeling like you need to hoard resources like resources are limited like getting caught up in lack mentality and you know we've really been being called out this week on um, on that way of thinking and that that is not serving us and to really be seeing all of and willing to see all of the places where we're still buying into that illusion of lack because there are unlimited resources the universe is unlimited and so if there's a resource there is a source and if there's a source and that source is unlimited, then there's no limit to the resources. So once we know that and really lean into that knowing and that truth, we don't have to be afraid anymore. So I, you know, I'd love to hear in the comments if what I'm saying is resonating with you and how you're experiencing this energy so far today. And if you are feeling that, um, that fear, that hesitation, that wanting to cling to things, um, that wanting to um, play small, keep it small, um, really uh, today is the day where you're being called to choose, to make that choice, to let that go, to, to move through it. And if you're really caught up in it, you may need to choose the choice you may need to make, the bold move you may need to make is to commit to getting some help, getting some coaching, getting, you know, doing a program, doing a retreat, you know, doing the things because um, 
because that's how you move through this stuff. You know, if you've been stuck in this loop for a long time, and many of us have been stuck in these ideas for years, sometimes even our whole life, we've received a lot of programming around lack, but especially in the past year and a half, we have really been um, receiving heavy, heavy doses of lack, you know, all the different things we should fear, that, you know, things are not available, resources are limited, things are running out, um, you know, there's not enough of this, there's not enough of that, there's not enough health, there's, you know, all of these different things. We've really had this lack idea programmed in us so, so intensely in the past year and a half, more than ever before, but there was such a foundation for it that, that was laid up to that point to be able to really um, intensify it in the past year and a half to the level that it has been. So really having compassion for yourself and and others and you know allowing yourself to see that for what it is and love and accept yourself wherever you're at in this process i think that's really important you know it's letting go of all the judgment around yourself around others around where you think you should be versus where you are and being willing to to ask for and receive the help that you need if you need help moving forward we all need help at some point you know i don't work with coaches who don't have coaches and and work with other coaches because um everybody needs help and if someone thinks that they know it all and they don't need help anymore and they've got it all you know together then that's a big red flag to me to say um Everybody's learning, everybody's evolving, everybody's expanding, and when you don't do that, that's when you are, you're not expanding, you're not growing, and if you're not growing, how can you teach me how to grow? So um, that's, that's really key for me when I'm choosing a coach or a teacher or a program to attend, and you know, I really look for those people who are constantly learning, constantly humble, and willing to um, be in expansion always and you know move through that with support from people who can help them as well and so we're all in this together and we're all here to help each other through this consciousness shift and this growth and i think that's you know a really key part of um of the calling today is you know really being willing to take that bold move whatever that is for you and being honest with yourself about what that is because tomorrow with the new moon if we haven't been 100 percent aligned and this is really this energy is aligning us right it's asking us to come into alignment with truth with the truth of who we are with the truth of how the universe works with the truth about the flow of money being infinite and you know about health the flow of health being infinite and all of these things being available to us in an infinite way and anything less than that is not true and so we will see tomorrow where we're out of alignment if we're still out of alignment and um, really the energy today is calling you to be aware to allow that awareness in with this one energy the new awareness the new ideas the inspiration the planning focus on the details really pay attention to what's happening today because it's going to help you tomorrow it's going to help you moving forward and commit to making the change that you want in your life you are the only one who can do it you are the only one who has that power to change your world so if you don't like the world you're seeing right now on a personal level and on a collective level you're the only one who can change that for you for your experience and that is the key to pulling your power in and really leading from that place of full self-empowerment from the solar plexus from you know that <clears throat> that personal power that purpose that sense of purpose that sense of self the essence of self the the real you the authentic you when you get to that that is where your personal power really is and that's what enables you to shine to lead others and to lead this con consciousness shift which is what if you're watching this you've been called to do 
So uh, let me know in the comments if this resonates. Let me know if I can be of any support to you in moving forward through your journey. I would love to be able to do that. Um, and I put the link in the description so that you can set up a chat with me if you want. And we can talk about how we can help you move through whatever you have been trying to navigate and maybe having a challenge with. So with that, I will uh, bid you adieu. And I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow or not. I'm going to try. Um, I am going to be traveling tomorrow, so we'll see if that works. But um, yeah, I'm excited and I'll be excited to report back on what occurs during this uh, fab fantastic retreat that I'm really excited about going on. So see you guys later and have a wonderful day. Make those bold moves.